Well, it's been a very big week here in Northwest Arkansas, and Walmart CEO Doug McMillan ending the week by taking some questions from media. I asked him, what is the tariff percentage level on imported products from Mexico, fresh produce, things like tomatoes and avocados that Walmart would face that would force its hand in raising prices on fresh produce? And Doug McMillan said, quote, we don't want to have to have prices go up on those fresh items for customers. We're going to resist it as long as we can. If the customer's particularly focused on avocado prices, we're going to try to hold those prices just as long as we can and adjust somewhere else. So we'll just manage that mix day to day. The merchants are very capable of making real-time decisions to try and mitigate that. Where we can um, change sourcing, whether it's Mexico or China or other countries, we will if we can. Um, but where we can't, we'll just have to deal with it or find some place to cut costs um, in the short term so that we don't have to. McMillan also talked a little bit about the company's move into the advertising business. Said that there's a lot to consider, but they're going to make sure that they value privacy practices and they'll even sacrifice growth and profitability if they have to do so. Back over to you. Cord, is, is that uh, taking the hit from the tariffs type tactics something that you've seen across this space, or is it just Walmart with its scale and size that's able to take that on? <clears throat> So I think if you have a retailer like a Walmart or like a Target, we've heard Brian Cornell talk about this too, they have a lot of different categories. And so the phrase they use is they have a lot of different levers that they can pull. So if prices go higher in any one area because of tariffs or because of something else, then they can look to other categories to help offset it. So if there's a product category that customers are very sensitive to, so in this case we're talking about something like avocados or tomatoes, something that you know the price of because you buy it often, maybe that's not the place to raise prices, even if your costs are higher. Maybe you use another category to do so. So if you are a retailer like Walmart that has a lot of different categories, these are the strategies that retailers are looking at deploying when they can, at least in the short term, as part of the mitigation plans.